The Girl in the Spider's Web is the fifth film to be based on one of the books from the popular Millennium series created by Stieg Larsson. Claire Foy stars as the girl with the dragon tattoo, Elizabeth Salander, and is joined by Sylvia Hoex, Lakeith Stanfield, and Stephen Merchant. This time around, Salander and Michael Blomqvist find themselves mixed up in a web of spies, assassins, and corrupt government officials as they're forced to stop a devastating nuclear weapon from falling into the wrong hands. Now, I'm a pretty big fan of these movies, so it goes without saying that I was very interested in this new installment. And to be honest, I've not read the book this is based on, so I don't know how much of the story is actually sourced from there. But sadly, I still think this film falls way short of every other film in the entire Millennium series. And it's not that it's bad. The big issue that I have with it is the fact that it feels like it just doesn't really belong. Foy does a pretty solid job portraying Salander, but even her performance couldn't make this otherwise mediocre action film stand out. In fact, in this movie, Elizabeth Salander felt more like a vigilante Jason Bourne than the socially awkward yet industrious computer hacker that we followed through all the previous movies. Overall, The Girl in the Spider's Web isn't terrible, but it's really just another generic action thriller about a hero that needs to stop bad guys armed with nuclear weapons. And that's why I give The Girl in the Spider's Web a 3.